Hey there. Is your phone not showing a notification for an app? Maybe a texting app? Maybe, um, I don't know, just an app that you want to know why it's not receiving the notification? Well, from here, I will actually show you why the, why the app may not be showing you your notification. So let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is go into your settings, however you get into it. Scroll down to the apps. Let it load. And once it loads, you've got to just find the app that you want to fix. So let's say you have, um, I don't know, I'm going to scroll all the way down till I see... Uh, um, well, first, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you this, though. I'm going to show you that I'll, I'll just disable an app. So, I'll edit one. Um, okay. Hi, sending. So, now that it's, I'm going to go home. It's going to send itself. Oh. And then, it will deliver it. Unless it doesn't show them. Oh, there we go. Whoop. Test send. So one, two, three, whatever. It has to just show up here. Okay, so it's taking its time to send again. Okay, so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and hold on the app. I'm going to click the information. I'm going to click block all. Never show notifications from this app. So it shows I have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do another test here. Now as you see it didn't show it on top. It didn't get a notification on my um, Android Wear. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out of that app. We're going to go back to the settings into all apps. And we're going to find the app called texture and if it's a system app you just click the show system and you find it that way but what you do is once all the apps load and usually it's not a system app but you're gonna go down till you find the app um, texture and you're gonna click on notifications should be one two three fourth one down they're gonna unblock it now, what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the app, either have someone text you or you just wait for another notification, and you go out of that. And eventually, it's, for some reason, it just takes a long time to send if I'm sending to myself. But... You should receive the message eventually. And okay, then to really just um okay, so it was delivered. Hmm. Okay, for some reason I'm not getting it yet, but you understand. Another way you really could do this is go to um all the back to the apps. Go. Okay, should have let that load first. Go down, scroll down to the app that you want. Well, I'm going to make sure first, though. Okay, still haven't received it, but whatever. We'll just wait anyway. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the app that we want. Okay, I really should should be a little more patient here about this. So we're gonna scroll down to the app again, and just to be clear about all of this, what you're gonna want to do is once. Okay, something's happening to my phone. Well, once the apps really do load again. Okay, there we go. There we go. They they they. They, they. There we go. So now we're just going to scroll all the way down. Let's 
till we find the text row because that's the one I like using. Okay, I just received a notification from that. Hmm, we're going to go to text right here. We're going to go to notifications. What you're going to want to do is make sure that block all is off. Choose priority is like that. Allow peaking should be the only one that's that's like this. Should be the only one on. Now that what that does is it allows the notification to pop up like this under what they call toast if you root your device. It's just allowing to peak and that's what it should be on. And then from there the notifications. I'm going to send another test message to myself. Or text, whatever one comes first. But it should work. And then really if that doesn't work, you don't get the message. then what I recommend that you do is uninstall the app and just reinstall it. I know you may not want to uninstall the app but it's something that you may have to do just because that that's usually the last option is it just resets every one of the settings of the app and I always have the feeling that when someone says reset the app and just or uninstall the app and reinstall it or delete this, do this, do this. I don't want to lose it. It takes time to get back. Maybe the progress will take time to get back if it's an app that you don't want to lose progress. But I mean, it's just um, uh, another workaround that shouldn't require um, uninstalling. That all does reset all the settings. But it's just a last resort, and I have looked around for other options. But seriously though, if you did, if it really did work, then just please comment down below and subscribe and always enjoy the rest of your day. Always hit that bell and goodbye.